Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I am bringing to you guys one awesome list. And to be honest, it's a list that I wasn't planning on bringing to you until I saw this video from Knife Center that talked about the 10 best button lock flippers. And I thought it was a great list, so I wanted to watch the video. And I gotta be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a, a video list from Knife Center that I've disagreed more with. Usually I think their suggestions are really just on point. I think, and, and all the knives in the list that they had, they were, don't get me wrong, they were really nice knives, but I don't think a lot of them were anywhere close to the 10 best button lock flippers. So that's what this video is about. And uh, you'll see the stark contrast between their list and my list. I will also have their list linked below for you guys to check and compare. But of their 10 selections, there was only two of them that I agreed with. Uh, and I was, I was just shocked. I was shocked by some of the selections because I think you can do a lot better than what they had on their list. And this is not me trying to throw shade or start anything by any means. I, I, I really like Knife Center. I've met David C. Anderson in person. I think he's a great guy. Uh, they make a lot of great content, but I just, yeah, I really disagreed with that list. So I wanted to bring you guys my list of the 10 best button lock flippers. So with that being said, let's get right into it. There is no limitations here. No price limitation, no size limitation, no nothing. Just my favorite button lock flippers. Standard regular flippers. That's what we're focusing on. And we'll talk about the two that uh, I actually agreed with them on. And it starts with, the, of course, the iconic, I would call this knife the king of button locks. And it is none other than the Protec Malibu. Uh, it is in my opinion, the one that really, really started the craze. I know the Mordax came out first, and the Mordax was awesome. The only reason the Mordax isn't, I don't, I didn't have the Mordax on my list either, only because it's still a really hard knife to find, and if I had to pick one between the Malibu or the Mordax, I would go with the Malibu, because I really, really, really like the size, the detent, and just the overall action on this is just perfect. I mean, it's literally just perfect. Uh, these are a little hard to find right now, depending where you look, um, but they are are, there is one version in stock at Blade HQ right now that is so freaking sweet. It's from the, uh, I believe, the New York City Custom Knife Show. Uh, it's got like the dragon scale uh, milled handle with like this Tiffany blue and a DLC black blade. Super, super sweet. The average Malibu will come in around 240. That one's coming in at 330, but that one's actually in stock and it is a super, super, super sweet Malibu. So I'll have a link below to that if you want to check it out. Uh, but the Malibu in general is just it, it, it's one of the uh, one of the knives that I look to and I want to tell someone what a perfect button lock flipper is. This is this is definitely one of them. And there's a couple other that you'll see here that I would put up in this category. Uh, but for American made for the great action, solid ergos, amazing looking blade and materials. Uh, this is easily one of the 10 best button lock flippers you can get. As of right now, the Protec Malibu. Now, the other one that I agreed with them on, and I was kind of surprised they included this in their list, but this is the Vostid Valkyrie. And there's there's all sorts of different options to choose from on the Valkyrie. Uh, you have kind of this sheep's footy Warncliffe style, or no, this is more of a, I can't, there's two different names. This, I believe, is the Warncliffe, and this is kind of like a sheep's foot. I think there's a different name for it. It's kind of a weird name for the blade shape. Uh, but these are the two options you have from a blade shape standpoint. And then, of course, you have different handle material. You got G10, you got Micarta. Um, and these are coming in around 72 bucks. And again, the theme of this list is all about being a button lock, and being a flipper. So I'm going to try and stick to that theme and not talk about the whole knife in general uh, because there's obviously a lot of good things I could say about either one of these. Um, all these knives you're going to see have really, really smooth action and having the multiple deployment methods is really nice. But again, I'm not taking anything away from that because all we're talking about is button locks and rear regular flippers. And uh, both versions of these are so, so smooth. Uh, the Vosti Valkyrie is an excellent selection and a great option under $100. So those are the two that I agree with Knife Center on. I thought those were solid picks. But then from that point on, the rest of it was kind of a train wreck, I thought. These next eight are the ones that I think belong in that top 10 list of the best button lock flippers. And we're gonna start off with the one that may be slightly controversial, the Spyderco Smock, because some people would say this is a some type of a compression, like a liner lock, a, a top liner lock or something like that. 
I'm going to, for this, for the sake of this list, I'm definitely throwing the smock in because in terms of just overall badassery and sliciness and just everything about it is so good, I'm going to, I consider this a button lock personally for me because the lock can be engaged and disengaged by a button. So the fact that a button does ultimately control the lock, because even though there, yeah, there's a liner lock coming up behind the blade, it's still the button that actually moves the liner lock. It's activated by the button. So I'm going to call this a button lock and keep it in here uh, because I love the smock. This is coming in around $228 for not this version, obviously. This is a very expensive version I made by myself. Uh, I got these from Sharp Dress Knives, these scales that were, I think, were like $135. And then I got the Lynch Clip. So yeah, so this is like a $350 plus dollar Spyderco smock. But you can get the Spyderco smock for $228. It is in stock. Link below. Of course, these are all going to be linked but yeah this is just an amazing knife uh really really love everything about the smock the unique blade shape the slicey hollow grind on it and of course the great ergos uh and for a flipper that has no jimping up there i really can't believe how easy that is it really is effortless and very enjoyable the only thing i would recommend about the smock if you get it there's an extra detent ball here in the in the mechanism to where if you leave that detent ball in you can't do that you'll have to take that detent ball out there's videos out there online on youtube uh that describe how to take that detent ball off out it's very very easy very effortless you just disassemble it take out the spring remove the detent ball put it all back together and you're good to go. So uh, awesome, awesome knife. One of the best knives Spider has ever made. The Smock is an amazing button lock flipper. Next up here, we have arguably the best. This is, this is one of the knives that I would honestly, people are going to think I'm crazy, but I would put this up there with the Protec Malibu. Even though they're really two completely different types of, I mean, this is a budget Chinese knife. This is a premium American made knife, but there's so many similarities because the overall smoothness of the action on this is just so good. The detent on this flipper is one of the best. It really is one of the all time best. I've always been a huge fan of the Serene and I will continue to be because for $46, this is the best button lock knife you can get under $50. Without a doubt. There's there's nothing close. I've said it before. I'm going to keep saying it. Um, I love the design, love that detent, and just love the overall uh, solid ergos. Everything about it is great. The Sencut Serene will always be on my list of best button lock flippers. I could not believe I was floored that this was not on Knife Center's list of the 10 best button lock flippers because it's just, it's the complete package. It really is. And for $46, like, get out of here. It's it's as good as it can get for that price, the Sencut Serene. Uh, next up here, I think, is a pretty underrated knife. This is the Civivi Sentinel Strike. And I love, this is probably... This is one of the two best button lock knives Civivi's ever made. Um, in terms of just button lock action, I would put it right behind the Star Flare. I think the Star Flare has slightly better action, but it's not a flipper. It's got thumb studs. Now, this one does have thumb studs and a cutout. Got a great flipper. The flipping action's fantastic, but everything about this is just... It's fidget bliss. It is a beast, and it's a very tactical-looking knife. I really like the the kind of aggressive tactical vibes you get with this. And uh, for eighty five bucks, for eighty five bucks, it is one hell of a knife. A big slicey blade, got that nice choil to choke up on. An excellent option. And uh, I, I'm really surprised. I thought like this one would really blow up and take off, and I think it's done well. But I feel like it's still one of the more underrated Civivis out there. Uh, the Sentinel Strike is amazing. Uh, next up here, we have this guy right here, the Kaiser Brat. And uh, this is another one. This is arguably Kaiser's best button lock flipper. Um, it's just, it's an integral G10 handle, which is pretty insane. It's still one of the... Uh, I don't want to say the only, it, it might be the only, it's on, one of the very few, if not the only integral G10 button lock flippers under a hundred bucks coming in at $89. And it's just a beautiful design by Ozzo. Love this drop point blade, this really, really tall, slicey flat grind. Uh, excellent, excellent job there. And the handle 
everything about this handle is just, it's the perfect thickness. It's the perfect width. It's just a very, very, very comfy knife. Even without the choil, I don't miss a choil one bit on this because this handle is just, it really fills my hand really well. And the action, ooh, fall shut, whips out, nice, crisp detent. Uh, excellent, excellent button lock flipper from Kaiser. Arguably their best, the Kaiser Brat designed by Ozzo. 89 bucks, not bad at all. Um, another one here. This is going to bring all the options out. We are talking the Vostid Thunderbird. And this knife here is ranging from 129 to 199 And uh, ironically, the biggest one is the most affordable one. This version here with G10 and S35 is coming in at 129 And again, just excellent flipping action on this. And all the fidget factor, of course. You got all the other options to, to kick that blade out. Uh, but it just looks great. It has a really nice edge on that uh, that very unique uh, compound grind blade. Kind of like a Tonto, but also just kind of its own little thing. Really, really good looking knife. Uh, got the Trek lock, so it's very secure. Got a uh, bent over clip. It's, I don't know if I'd really call it deep carry because there's still a lot of the handle showing, but it carries great in the pocket. It looks good. Uh, you have a couple different grip positions for it. Very, very solid. And then if you don't want the big three and a half inch version, there is this version here that is right around 3.25 inches, which I think is my favorite. A little more premium. This is the more expensive one coming in at 199. But man, oh man, is it good with, I believe, LMAX. Yeah, LMAX steel and just, ooh, ooh, ooh. All the looks, all the design lines. Really, really love this design. And then you have this little guy right here coming in at, I believe, 160. The best detent of them all, mind you. Uh, these all have good detents, but this one is just a little extra crisp. Got that real nice uh, jungle camo carbon fiber on there. M390 blade steel. And just phenomenal, phenomenal flipping action with a really, really good button lock to go with it. Still using the Trek lock, I believe. Yeah, it is still using the Trek lock. Um, just a great, great little knife. You really can't go wrong with any of these. It all just comes down to what materials you prefer, what size you want, and how much you're willing to spend. The Vosti Thunderbird is fantastic. Uh, next up here, we're going back to Civivi and taking a look at one of their, if not their most popular button lock knife, the Conspirator. And this is another one, like, if you're going to talk the, the 10 best button lock flippers, like, you have, you've got to put the Civivi Conspirator on here because it is just, it's as solid and as safe and as amazing as you can get. There's no risk with the Conspirator because it's going to fit good in pretty much everyone's hands, has a great size blade that's really, really slicey, um, and there's all the options. There's Micarta, this is Ultum, there's Wood, there's, I, I'm pretty sure there's a G10 version, uh, but there's plenty of options to choose from, and it's such a good size, ranging anywhere from $79 up to $89, depending on what you want. Uh, the Conspirator is just a winner. It always has been, and... It's going to be really hard for this to ever fall out of a top 10 video when it comes to button lock flippers, especially if we're talking under $100. But even if you're just talking button lock flippers in general, because again, I just, it's a very clean, smooth, sleek design that I really, really like. Um, and it's, it just, it excels in every category from action to ergos to value to everything. It's, it's, it's. Pretty much a perfect knife. It just comes down to whether or not the design uh, speaks to you. And if it does, stop wasting time and give it a try. The Conspirator is fantastic. Uh, we got two more. And this one here, I'm going to say, is probably the most underrated Kaiser of all time. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. The Kaiser Dogfish. Such a unique knife. And it has a very minimal flipper tab up here. Kind of reminds me, I kind of get some Vero vibes from this knife. And just in terms of like the overall shape, handle size, the minimal flipper works so damn good. But you got a nice choil up here too. And the way the sides of the handle are kind of beveled and curved out, it just fits in my hand. Perfect. You got jimping all the way leading up to the little harpoon area there. 
Um, it's just a great knife. It really is. And I, I just can't believe this was another one when it came out, I thought for sure it was going to be like an instant classic for Kaiser. It's still available. There's still some out there. You can still get them at multiple places. Love the spiral milling on the handle of the aluminum. Uh, really good quality there. A nice, simple, wide pocket clip that I love. This knife carries great in the pocket and the clip feels really, really good in hand. The width on that clip makes a nice wide base so you don't get any hot spots. Feels really, really good from an ergonomic aspect and I think looks amazing from a design aspect. Uh, the Dogfish is very underrated and for everything it comes with, I think it's easily justified with that $99 price tag. Also love the middle finger flicking action on this because... Ooh, really, really good. That Trek lock, one of the better examples of a knife with a Trek lock you can get as well. You can, of course, also front flip it. And uh, yeah, the Dogfish is a little bit of its own knife, but I tell you what, it's one of the better, more unique knives that have come out in the past couple years, in my opinion. Really big fan of this, the Kaiser Dogfish. Now, this last one on my list, this one is actually a brand new knife to the channel. You've never seen it on here. I got a review coming. It is available. I just haven't been able to get a full review of it yet because I've been carrying it for about a week now. This is the Vostied Hedgehog. And this thing is a top liner lock, but the action, the detent, oh my God. Gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to bring you the review of this because I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I love this big, beefy, slicey blade shape. S35VN steel, a nice wide handle that kind of reminds me, you kind of get some Strider vibes from the handle. It really does kind of have that, those straight lines coming out, gets a little wider down here. I do get some Strider vibes. I really, really like that. This version is obviously black wash steel with a black wash blade with a micarta, green micarta handle. Uh, got your typical Vostied clip on it. Very nice deep carry clip. And man, oh man, the ergos on this thing are great. But what really makes this super, super enjoyable actually really is the fact uh, that this flipper tab is perfect. The way it's designed, it kind of generates that nice, powerful flip out of there. Oh, it's so good. And like a regular top liner lock, this does have a detent. So it's a very nice crisp detent. And right back here, you see that top liner lock where the button actuates the liner to engage and disengage in that. Um, very, very nice, very fidgety, very smooth. Uh, this is going to be a very popular knife. And like I said, it is available now. It is it is for sale at Vostied. This one's a little more up there in price. We're looking at 129 on this one. Um, I think a lot of that is just because of mainly the steel, but then also the newer lock. Now that the, um, now that the uh, patent is finally up on the uh, basically, this is the same lock from the Spyderco Smock, and that patent has basically ran out, uh, so you're able to make that, and that's basically what you see here. And you're going to see this just like the crossbar locks with Benchmade guys. Once the once the Axis lock uh, copyright broke, a lot of a lot of companies started using the, the crossbar lock that we call it now, and that's what's going to happen with this top liner lock. It's it's called the top liner lock now, but it used to be the smock compression lock or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it is an amazing lock. Anytime you can you can combine the fidgety aspect of a button lock with the excellent feel of a nice crisp detent. It makes for one amazing knife. And uh, this one here, I'm telling you guys, check it out. The Hedgehog is amazing. Four of you coming on this, but I had to include it in my top 10 list because I've really enjoyed it that much. This has been a very, very fun carry for me this week, and I've really enjoyed it. And that's it, guys. That is the list. That is my favorite top 10 button lock flippers you can get right now. Let me know what you guys think of this list. Really hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great weekend and a phenomenal rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.